is the QUV Accelerated Weathering Tester. As you can see, it's model QUV SE. This model has the ability to do both condensation and UV weathering. I'm showing it in uh, the condensation mode uh, first. Uh, the power switch is uh, located back here. Uh, when you turn it on, the display will come up, give you any messages, uh, errors, etc. The uh, my program is running and all that type of thing that uh, would appear here. And it'll be in the stop mode. Um, at that point, you can determine what program you want to run. Uh, you may have stopped a run. You can continue, etc. Um, you can see here we have our status here, our total time, test time, step time. Our current temperature, actual versus set, and our UV irradiance. Now I don't. I'm in condensation, so there is no UV irradiance currently. I'll show that in the next step. Um, so we're in the run mode now. On each side, the other side has exactly the same configuration. So we can open up this panel, and as you can see, I'm in condensation mode, and uh, we have condensation appearing on the panels. Your test panels are here for the materials that you want to use um, and these are ports for the UV uh, calibration and to, move, to remove these you just pull it out and as you can see uh, the back of the panels are wet and as the water drips it will drip down into the water pan which, which exists under the floor of this whole unit. That water pan maintains a constant level with a water feeder, which I'll show you here on the side. So here I've hooked up a water line. It has a, a float and will keep a constant water level. And you can see there's guidelines recommended here to do that. It has two hose clamps here and the feed into the water tray is here. So I have this open, so you can see it's loose. That way it'll constantly feed into there. And I have the bottom drain, which would normally be connected. Both of these would normally be connected to a floor drain. And uh, this is an overflow so that in case this float got stuck or there was too much water, whatever, uh, it, overflow, it would overflow and go down into that drain, uh, into the floor drain. When I want to drain it at the end, I will just open this one up and let it drain out and shut the water off. Each side has end panels. And these end panels uh, use a small screwdriver to open them up. You can pull them out, and that's how you would access your lamps. And so here on this side, as you can see, we have the exact same configuration as that side. And if I were to take out a couple of the panels, you can get them. You can see there's um, two banks of four, or uh, four banks of two, however you want to look at it. And they are calibrated. Uh, the irradiance sensors are here and calibrated here and when we get to the UV uh, section I'll show you how to uh, hook that up to do the calibration. Okay so I've put the unit into uh, the UV mode so as you can see now before we had nothing here we have uh, set points and actuals uh, for irradiance uh, for the four banks of two each UV lamps and our temperature now is 70 versus it was 50 in condensation mode and that's particular in a test each test you can program both of these things uh, depending on what you want and these have changed accordingly you can see here now we're in UV mode versus uh, condensation mode and if I lift up the cover here you can see the, uh, the UV light and that's where you would hook up your calibration sensor. And the unit comes with this with this kit. Um, and this sensor just would go in here and lock into place. And you would connect all this together and into the unit to do your calibration of your UV radiance and this does come with it.